I really don't care. I don't really care about the fucking music anyway. It's all the show. Me too. Hey guys, welcome to Ooh Pop This and Every Thursday Night. I am Leilantis Pierce, also known as and more on Fridays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Ronald McDonald's wife. <laughs> I hate you. That look, I had to do it because no one believes I run. <laughs> So, tonight's episode... Get out! <laughs> tonight's episode is season three, episode two. You just make that shit up. I do. <laughs> and it's this about me. So, lately, I've been feeling a particular type of way about some people. No names. But, it's like coincidence that mysteriously on Thursday nights, a lot of my posts and things get reported and I just you know honestly I lol now because I mean girl if you're gonna report me then fucking report me if you're gonna fucking just do me a favor and fucking delete me like it's not even worth it I don't get it like okay I'm not that girl that's like worried about you you know what I'm saying like worry about your goddamn self handle your business drink your water and stay in your motherfucking lane like to me, it's so simple. I don't understand exactly what the hell is going on in America because, oh, hi. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Andy Candy. Um, oh, Jazzy is watching. Hi, Jazzy, the four-year-old. I'm a fairy princess, and I promise I won't cuss. Tell mommy I won't cuss. Um, no, you know, I just, I don't get it, and I don't understand, like, like I said before, I'm in no competition with no one other than myself. And I just try to enjoy life. Like, what's better than sitting here enjoying life, you know, and being happy with oneself? I, I just, why is it always, so you want this outfit too, Minnie? Oh, thank you. Um, I just, I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, enough about that. Um, I just, you know, it's, it's just, but it is funny. You're like, girl, it's not that serious. It's just drag. Okay, let's see. What is going on in the life of Lay? Lay has been working nonstop, and it's um, honestly, you know what? We have a new system at work, and I love it. I, you know, I love that people are like so, like, <laughs> I can't even say irritated because they're not irritated, but everyone's like frustrated. And if you work in like insurance, now that I do, uh, you know that it's crazy busy at the beginning of the year. I didn't know this, but I would have knew that a long time ago. I would have had took the job. Sorry guys, we are rudely interrupted. Uh, so anyways, uh, it's fun. I love my job. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love my job. And the reason why I love it so much is, you know, we get an opportunity to work together and like work things out. And that's what I love. I love the teamwork in it. Uh, that's what I love. I strive for that shit. Um, tonight, my special guest is Ego, the new queen to grace our stage here, stages here in Fresno. And for those of you who don't know Ego, um, she, or he, however you prefer, uh, comes from a dance background. So he is, like, phenomenally amazing on the floor. I've seen him dance before. Amazing, hands down. His look is sickening to me. I love it. He's just, he's an up-and-coming, like, I think Deja Sky had said that. Like, he's an up-and-coming, um queen so look out for him he's gonna be performing tonight and a little secret about me and ego um we actually were friends for like eight nine years maybe not even that long i can't remember i can't do math but no we were we've been friends for a while and you know we had a falling out, unfortunately, like every friendship may or may not go through. And we recently just rekindled our friendship. Now, and I know that, you know, sometimes people, they can't get over certain things and sometimes things just happen. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, but it, you know, honestly, for me, at the end of the day, it's just... It's an opportunity for us to continue to grow. And now that he's a queen, like, I have a total appreciation for him. I absolutely fucking love him. Um, I like how I said there's no cursing and here I am cussing. Um, because I love what he's bringing. Like, when we had the conversation about drag, 
um, it was more or less the conversation of like how he wants to do it and enjoy it, you know, and there is a huge difference in being a drag queen and doing drag or, you know, just all of these different aspects of drag. And until you really get into the geesh and the gigs, you won't ever realize that. So, um, he's actually running late. He was supposed to be here with me, so I'm trying to stall, but he's texting, letting me know that his music is not ready. <laughs> so, it's a look. It's a look. Um, you know, and I, I guess, is this about me really means, like, is it really about me? You know, and you have to stop and ask yourself, like, are people not wanting to be around me because of who I become or who I am? Or are people not wanting to be around me because they choose not to be around me? And at the end of the day, when you stop and really focus on that and you start to identify some of the things that you do, yes, am I, do I have my shortcomings and my faults? Yes, absolutely, hands down, I do. Um, and I know this about myself. And, you know, does he or she or they have these opinions of me? Yeah, because I may mean, have did something that they may not like, but same thing with it falls back on them, you know? A friendship is a two-way street, so you gotta learn how to do that and handle that. Um, and, you know, let's just talk about last week's episode. Last week's episode was really um, caliente. Um, I had some people message me, and that was the point of uh, the, the go-live last week. It's, you know, I'm a firm believer if, if the glass slipper fits, then wear it. So some people were like, hey, I seen your video, is that about me? And I was like, well, are you cheating on your man? Are you saying these things about me behind my back? Yes or no, you know? And if you felt a particular type of way, then that means that you were probably doing those things, you know? Um, it's never my intent to ever like hurt anyone's feelings or do anything along those lines. But in retrospect, you know, like Tyra Sanchez says, don't come for me and I won't come for you. It's pretty much simple. Like, stay in your lane, drink your water, and stay hydrated. And yeah, we're going to be happy. We're going to do what we have to do. Hi, Esmeralda. How you doing? Hey, Jerry. Are you here? Are you here? Like once if you're here. I'm just kidding. Um, but that's just, that's how I feel about the situation, you know? Like, I forgot who told me, but they said, a guilty man will rant and rave that he's, rant and rave that he's innocent, but an innocent man will sit back and watch as everything unfolds. There's nothing for us to lie about anymore, honey. We're here. We're queer. Cheers. Okay, now I gotta do some plugs. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, join us this Friday for It's the End of the World show here at FAB, hosted by Isista Luna. Um, oh, 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 okay. So Saturday we have DJ Fungies. They're gonna be here. It's puppets. Who doesn't love having shit up their ass? And then... On Saturday from 1 to 5, 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 3 to 5, I will be at the Big Red Church performing for the Gay Cabaret, so make sure you come out and support. Um, details will be posted on my page, make sure you come out and support. And then next week is Closet Ball, um, and it's with the IDC, so make sure you go out to the Clovis Senior Center, I believe tickets are $15. Um, so go out and show your support for that. And then of course, on Friday, we have ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba, Valentina, the one, the only Valentina. And I was told I had to be nice because I was going to do a mix and it was going to be very mean and petty. So I was told I had to be nice. So I guess I'll be nice to her. Anyways, guys, this was Lady Press. Ooh, pop this and every Thursday night. Make sure you guys stick around. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.